hello guys welcome to the channel as you can see by the title this is going to be a mod review for a modded vehicle on euro truck simulator 2 now i usually do do normal videos on this game um but i'm very aware of the vast majority of modded vehicles there are um and i just wondered why not give them a try and why not share the experience with you guys as well so this is my second mod as you can see here this is the ford transit um i do have a previous vehicle um i have a video of it on my channel i think it's a bmw 7 series if i'm not mistaken um so you can check that out and today we have a ford transit so at the end of the day this is a truck simulator so we'll see how well the modders integrated a vehicle that's not a truck into the game in terms of handling the sound um so without further ado let's get to it so this is the model i think it's made by a turkish modder there's a turkish plate and you will see as you move along um seeing the different things you could get as extras and accessories for the vehicle that um is very turkish inspired let's say so we've got a bit of humor with the clean me um I'm sure that's worldwide. If you see a dirty wife and you just got to right, clean me on it, is I've done it. Everyone I know has done it. It's just something you've got to do. Um, so let's do a custom configuration. Let's see what we can do. So we start with the cabin. Um, there's only one. And I'm not sure if this is the name of the modder. It could possibly be. It could be worth a, you know, worth a little search if you like what you see. So we only got one option so far. Um, so let's head, let's head to the chassis. We've got three options. So this is the standard. So let me see if I can move this to one side. There we go. So this, this is the standard one, as you can see, normal suspension. Um, uh, just, just you know, just your road, regular road stock transit van. If you go to this option, the Sir Hat sound option, we got, okay, we got uh, a sound system with what looks like an address. Must produce it. Uh, great amount of wattage when it comes to the base that's ridiculous so that's an option um and we also got this option which he, you might it might not seem too different to the first one at first but if you look let me just go to the back to the standard one and you'll see what difference it makes all it is is the suspension more so on the front but it's very 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 low um I mean, to be honest, it's not really far from stance. Um, if you're aware of the stance car culture, it's really not too far from that. Um, let's stick with the standard one anyway for now. Um, engine, we got two variants. We got two litre, 75 horsepower engine. And we have a 2.3 litre, 100 horsepower engine. I'm not sure why you'd want the two litre, 75 horsepower um, variant, but I'm just gonna stick with the 2.3. Uh, transmission, we got one standard manual six speed. Um, we've got three different types of interiors. Now this gives us a first look into the interior. Um, very, uh, very basic. Um, for example, you, there's no vents. Um, all the vents are sort of like 2D. Got some mirror issues with the transit uh, logo. On the passenger glove box but then you know you've got the you know you, at least you've got a gearbox you've got the stalks um you know you've got a little dash here with the mileage with everything functioning unfortunately the stalks don't work so when you do switch on the indicators or when you do use the wipers you'll find that the indicators will show or the wipers will turn on however the stalks remain in their position and same goes with the lights but we'll get to that um a little later on a little window buttons here um i think this is traction control which for, for, for whatever reason is always off um and if you're from the uk watching this you will recognize um the discontinued tax disc uh, i think it got discontinued maybe two or three years ago and if you're not from the uk what this was was just evidence that your vehicle is taxed um I know it's different in different countries, but this is the UK's way of doing it until a couple of years ago 
um, they actually run out of paper, believe it or not, for these discs, and so now it's all electronic. Um, other than that, I mean, I think this is a secondary interior light, which is slightly bugged. Um, seats look okay, very basic, but you know, whatever, there's just seats. Um, not too big of a fan, I don't know if you can see, because of course YouTube's going to affect the quality of the video. Um, but where the little horn symbols are, and I'm not sure if I can zoom in. Can't zoom in, but there's like squares or rectangle around the horn symbol, which is a bit annoying. Um, but again, nothing too, nothing too deep. Anyway, let's head to the first exclusive interior, which almost makes things look chrome. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the model went for here. But it's very, it's a very shiny texture, which looks very similar to chrome, which is, you know, I mean, a chrome steering wheel. That's you know, that's weird in itself. Um, I, th I guess you could pull off maybe a dashboard, a chrome dashboard, maybe, possibly, but definitely not steering wheel. Nope. And the second exclusive option. Okay. I guess this was meant to be wood. I'm assuming it's meant to be wood. And to be fair, to be fair. I think if it was done properly, and if the model actually took care with it and put effort into making it look nice, he could have pulled off something very nice, especially with these little details here. Imagine if these were wood, or just painted in wood. I think they'd look very, very, very nice. Um, but this is an atrocity, if I'm being kind. So let's just go back to the standard uh, leather option, I guess. Colors, um, you got the usual colors. The clean me just stays. So a little, little clean me uh, bit just stays regardless of the color. So that's always going to be there. Um, but as for the modded uh, paint jobs, you got this one again. <clears throat> these are all Turkish, so I have no idea what they what these actually mean. And I don't even know if that's a word or well, basically I have no clue what these mean. So I'm just going off by how good they look. I don't know if they they. In relations to the model, whether they're an actual company, but regardless, um, yeah, let's just go through them. So this is the first one. Not too much of a fan of a color. It's an, it's an interesting color, just not just doesn't really stand out to me. Um, second one, same thing. Uh, the colors reversed. Third one, the AU one is. I'm assuming this is some sort of company. I'm gonna assume it's Turkish. Decent paint job. Decent paint job. Let's keep going though. Um, okay, this is clearly a company. We've got, an, we've got a camo sort of uh, wrap going on here. Very interesting to stick on a van. We've got another company. This one looks decent. Could go with this one. Um, and we've got another company here. But to be honest, I think I'll probably go with this one. So that's the paint job side of things. Let's head over to the accessories. Let's start. Should we start around the back or the front? Let's start around the back. Um, so here I'm assuming we have... Okay, that's the exhaust. Um, that's an interesting exhaust to stick on a Ford Transit. I mean, so it's this one to be completely honest with you. Um, you know, each of their own. But I wouldn't really, I mean, if I had a van for, you know, work or for whatever reason, I don't think I'd be sticking an exhaust this big. <laughs> um, but again, each of their own. Um, I guess I'll just leave the standard skinny one there and then we've got the hitch for a caravan because this does come I think if I'm not mistaken with a caravan trailer that you can actually tow along um, so you've got a little silver one there so it looks like chrome that looks like chrome to me and we've got the same thing but in black I don't know how well you can see it um, don't think we need it for now let's just keep the rear you know pretty clean um, we also have I guess this is the fog light, some sort of rear fog light. Um, let's let's take the lights on. I mean, it doesn't light up, so let's just assume it's a reflector of some sort. Um, let's go into the wheels. Now, judging by the exhaust, we could have some funky designs waiting for us here. So let's go with the first ones. A very sporty set of rims. Um, I mean. I think these are just the same design with just different colors. 
then we've got these ones which are interesting as well again very true in our style and we have deep dish rims on a Ford Transit you know what actually let me let me actually so we should have them on this as well cool so if we just have these rims these wheels and let's head back to where was it was it here I mean there you go that was the stance type of look that I was talking about I mean all you need now is to put the camber on negative and to be fair you're good to go um yeah but like I said it's really not for me um let's just I mean you know you know let's get let's get these ones I like these ones they don't look too bad they don't really suit um I guess because of the paint jobs a bit too official but yeah nothing too much for the wheel side of things let's head over to the top got quite a few options here so we've got the single police light we've got the pilot light i'm sure this is from multiplayer actually i'm not even sure this is specifically with the mod but hey it works um same with this one actually i think a lot of them are actually part of multiplayer but nonetheless i guess if you do have multiplayer as you can see it is uh compatible with the lights and, and uh, everything else to do with multiplayer i'm not sure if you can use it on multiplayer i'm not saying you can i'm not saying you can't i'm not sure uh exactly what the rules say on that so it's up to you to do a little bit of research um up here we have again as i was saying earlier about the turkish accessories we have a uh, very proud turkish flag on a pole here on the passenger side it's always interesting um hard uh, um i mean this is an interesting look i guess this is for a zombie apocalypse one or for a war some sort of war uh, this looks like something good out of gta this looks ridiculous i'm really tempted to to drive it with this i'm really really tempted to this is literally something that gta would just pull out of the bag that's ridiculous <laughs> that is ridiculous um oops yeah um okay well what was that do i even know where the, how, did I, how did i get there right that's okay let's go back to normal um just your usual plates for the windows you have some a few badges i mean why not let's keep them on let's let's keep the badges on um park so I'm assuming this is some sort of reflector or a side light. Um, it's a bit too orangey. I mean, if it was a bit less, you know, out there, I'd probably keep them on. But they're really, really bright, especially when you stick, stick them on a plastic bumper. It just doesn't go. Um, we have far and we have hella. Okay, so we've got some fog lights. Hella. So they just say hella rather than actually be hella far, or you know light hella far in front of you they're just they're just called hella you know what let, let me stick these on these don't look too bad and lip oh that's going to be a lips a little, little, little lip on the uh on the bumper i mean to be fair to be fair it doesn't seem too bad does it, it doesn't seem too bad so let's yeah i'll keep on for now and i just realized i just realized that these are bmw rims you know what that makes it 10 times better that makes it 10 times better um inside all of your cabin accessory options i don't know what i have no clue what this is it could be a sat nav so i think I'm gonna, let me leave it there and hopefully it actually does turn out to be a sat nav um not too sure what this is i mean it's put something there what is put there i have no clue um see it's just the usual cabin accessories if you have that pack plenty and you can have a little uh you know what what would suit something like this let's just take a cube yeah 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 let's take let's take a little fuzzy cube um yeah i mean that looks like an absolute mess it looks like an absolute disaster but i'm going to drive it Okay, yeah, let's uh 
Let's do a little trade in. That should be that, hopefully. Congratulations. By the way, by the way, this is found, if you do want to download this, it's in the Volvo truck dealer section. I should have mentioned at the very beginning, so forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. But you can find this vehicle in the Volvo um, dealer. And there it is in all its glory. If you really want to use that word, it's a very brave word to use for this vehicle. But I'm going to use that word. There it is in all its glory. Um, it's affecting my frame rate insanely. Um, but I won't comment on that. Yeah, I mean, okay, let's just skip this because this is going to take a while. But here we are. Here we are. Okay, so that was a GPS. As you can see, everything lit up on the dashboard briefly. Um, lights do function. However, the, um, the little switch, the light switch, actually doesn't move itself, as I said. So if I switch on the indicators as well, same thing. Uh, let's switch it on And you know what it sounds it actually sounds pretty decent, you know some of these mods will I remember in the early days of uh, Euro truck mods Someone would just get a car and the interior would be a truck and the sound would be a truck But it would be a car from the outside. I don't know if that makes sense, but it was a really really weird concoction um, And that was supposedly a car mod back in you know two, early 2013 or 14. I don't know when Mods first started to come out. I know Eurotruck, I think, came out in 2012, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. It seems like a little too long ago. But yeah. So we've got nice. It sounds really good. That sounds quite good. Um, the rim is very red for some reason. I don't know why they've planted a the tail light there, but. You know, it's all good, it's all good. Um I'm really liking the green. This is an actual um that's the actual from factory light uh, interior um instrument light from Ford. I know they had it on the few focus models, um any any fo any Ford from that era. Um I think early two thousands I'd say. In the early two thousands to the Maybe uh, maybe 2009, 2010s. I can't. I'm not too sure, but they did have green uh, instrument lighting. Um. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Without further ado, I guess let's let's get in. Let's drive it. Let's just see how it goes. So I've been driving this vehicle now for about five or so minutes, um, and as you can probably see in the background. It's not the smoothest of gameplays. I am recording this at 60 frames per second, um, so you should be. It should be quite easy to tell where the game lags and whatnot. And um, overall, it was not a smooth, just you know, a smooth experience. However, I am running a ton of mods, um, so keep that in mind because when I try this vehicle, uh, well, let's say this mod with a vanilla. Uh, with, with vanilla, with the vanilla game. To be completely honest, it wasn't just a map. There's no graphics mods, which there are here. There were no traffic mods, which there are here. Sound mods, etc., etc. The list goes on. So, without any mods, the the game does run at a smooth 60 frames per second for me. And I do have quite a beefy computer. Not the you know, it's not the most powerful, you know, gaming rig in the world, but it does get the job done. Um, however, at the same time. Um, without this specific mod, the game also runs smoothly. So it's a bit we're we're at a bit of an uneven field, if that makes sense. So and as you just saw there, so I'll, I'll get onto the um, the the actual driver aspect of the game in a second. But just hold on, just hold on to that what you just saw for a second. Um, and I, I just want to finish up really with in terms of the, you know the, the effect on the game like I said with all the mods I have installed before this one the game did run smoothly um, so like I said keep that in mind um, and you know as you just saw in terms of the vehicle stability it is fine it is fine um, and you, I mean you did just see it, I, I would that was almost a tip over 
Um, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure what happened there. I gotta go back and check. But I was to do with another vehicle in front of me, and I attempted to swerve out of the way and almost rode it over. Now, if I'm not mistaken, on this profile, this is not my main profile. So if you do want to see uh, either my streams or actual gameplay of me, you know, actually trucking in Euro Truck, do check that out. By the way, little plug. But that's usually done on my main profile, whereas this is an like a side one. Hence why I've got so much money um, and the map exploration is ridiculous uh, the percentage but none, uh, nonetheless um, the stability I think setting the truck stability setting is on the highest so I do suspect if I was to turn that all the way down the van might have probably tipped over there but that was in a specific situation usually even when you're turning fast the vehicles seem to be very very stable and well planted into the ground I had no issues with you know uh, changing lanes and the head having to deal with the vehicle almost tipping over or sliding across the road or just somehow the physics acting kind of weird which you get with a lot of these mods um, the whole process seemed to be pretty smooth so yeah that's it really not too much to say um, very decent driving experience to be honest you know it didn't really seem like a mod that was rushed or had couple physics out of place and you know acting weird no 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 it was really it, it, it felt i mean i wouldn't say it was as if you know this was a vanilla vehicle as in a vehicle that was you know by ses software however it's close enough to you know that i'd say give it a go you know it's a decent little vehicle just to run around in when you're not looking to truck when you're not looking to you know be on that grind and I mean and, and like I mentioned previously this is a vehicle which you can hitch a trailer to, uh, a little caravan to so and I'm not too sure I haven't actually checked that out so I don't know if that's actually a job that pays but it's worth checking out um, even if it's not it's really it is really a nice addition to have you know pulling a caravan and it kind of does add to the difficulty a little bit if you are up for a challenge because you know obviously driving a van with nothing is pretty simple um, and having a trailer again you gotta watch your speed and how quickly you turn and you know all that uh, good stuff but yeah I guess I'm gonna leave you with some gameplay um, does get a bit choppy here in Berlin because well I mean you know I have a mod on, on a mod surrounded by mods um, so but yeah I mean pro mods map brilliant brilliant it's beautiful it really really is beautiful so enjoy the last couple of um, the last minute or so um, be sure to check out future mod reviews this should be the first one I am planning to do quite a few I have quite a few cars on the list ready to be installed and tested and reviewed of course so that's all gonna come soon um, let me know how you find this video Give it a like if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, subscribe for more. There's plenty of streams on Eurojack on my Twitch channel, so you can check that out. Um, head to my channel on here and you'll find the link to that. Um, I don't really have a schedule, so it's just really, if you get lucky to be honest, but I will try my best to um, uh, kind of give a little mention beforehand. I also do shout out on my Twitter a lot, so at LWD Adnan, this is my channel name. Um, my Twitter account, I usually do shout out my Twitch streams before I stream. But yeah, I'm going to leave you the last 30 seconds or so. Um, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Thank you.